Uh, so my name is Andy Fine. I own Fine Violins in St. Paul on Grand Avenue. Um, I make and restore and sell violins, violas, cellos, and bows. Um, and that's about all we do. Uh, the first, I remember the first violin that I made and I, you know, played it. I was excited to play it and everything. But, um, you know, the really thin pieces of wood. In the middle here, it's only about three or four millimeters. So it was all together and all strung up and all varnished. And I remember tuning it up and like just sitting there thinking, wow, that's really thin wood. And being amazed that the whole thing just did not implode like, <laughs> but it did it. You know, it, was like, <laughs> but it was really fun. But it's just like the first time you realize how delicate the instruments are and how small it is. It's really amazing. They actually hold up to everything. Here we have two instruments. This one's a lot more expensive than this one. If you just like shine and how things look, this one is more perfect. It's shinier, it doesn't have any ding marks in it the way this old beat up, very expensive violin does. Um, but this one was made about the year 1800 and it's almost $20,000. It's about $18,000. Very deep, very broad sound. Uh, it's a lot of power. It's by far a professional instrument. Um, it can carry a long way. Not quite as nice wood, still handmade. Um, somewhat nice looking, generally nice looking, but it's about a tenth of that. It's only $1,800 for it. But it's more of a high level student instrument. A interested high school player would play this and if they went on to college or professional playing they would definitely need a better instrument than that. Right. Um, and there's a huge range of personal taste um, but I've heard hundred thousand dollar instruments that I thought sounded like a dog and five thousand dollar instruments that I thought sounded like the best instrument you know that was ever played so a lot of it has to do with taste and things like that so it's not just the price tag.